Hey everyone, welcome to a really quick six minutes. Well, it actually might be six minutes uh, this time instead of our normal hour, hour and a half. Um, just got done with the Tennessee State Duels. Uh, had an opportunity to catch up with a bunch of the coaches. I did miss Coach Joey Knox from Cleveland um, who had a wild and just awesome duel with Bradley Central in the finals. Um, but otherwise, caught up with a bunch of the Tennessee coaches and um, it was a great finals. It was a great tournament overall today. Uh, before we get to that, um, it was a busy weekend across the Southeast. A lot going on in Florida, going on in Alabama, South Carolina had their opening weekend with things going on with their duels. Um, North Carolina crowned four state champions in duels, the boys, um, and the girls had their women's state, uh, state finals this morning. Um, which I didn't get a chance to see, but we'll go back and watch. And um, and Georgia uh, just wrestled their individual sectionals, and they get ready for the state tournament next weekend in Macon. So uh, I hope you enjoy these uh, conversations, very short conversations with uh, some of the coaches from Tennessee. And um, yeah, look for more information coming this week as I talk to Lucas De Silva. Uh, and the and our run up to the Georgia State Tournament. Enjoy, guys. Coach, congratulations on the win. Thank you very much. Um, tell me a little bit about the uh, the excitement of the kids, the excitement of this the program. First time making it to the team state tournament, and our boys were pumped up, and I'm super happy for them. They've been working hard and really grinding the past couple weeks here, and. We wrestled those guys a week ago, and we came back and got them again. I'm excited about it. Yeah, so is there anything about the duel that, I mean, you know you have your hammers in the lineup, you know, how was it preparing the kids that weren't your hammers to do their job? Going down 24 nothing at the beginning is yeah. a tough hole to climb out of, and emotionally, the guys that needed to get it done, they went and they got it done today. And I, uh, they, when we needed to put up bonus points, we put up bonus points, and when we needed not to get pinned, we really worked hard not to get pinned. I think at 126 pounds was really the turning point of that duel right there. Jace lost to him, I want to say 12-3 last week, and we had a game plan for him, and he went out there and got a win against the guy we lost to 12-3 a week yeah, before. Yeah, and that, that's a huge momentum builder for exactly. leading into your hammers, you know, so. Momentum was shifted the opposite direction until that match came up, and I think our boys got pumped up, and they knew that we needed to go to work. Yeah, so you're losing your, your, your hammers. Um, how, how does Lakeway, like, take that next step with the kids that are in the room to, to defend this title? We have some young guys right now. Uh, Casto at 180 pounds, Eversol at 145 pounds. We're going to get Spencer Reap next year. I think we're going we're gonna to be just all right. I'm excited about next year as well. All right. Congratulations, Coach. Thank you very much. Hey, Coach. Yes, sir. So congratulations on the first ever, not only in Tennessee, but nationally, duels state champions. Yes, sir. So, uh, so, was there any nerves? You, you've seen this team before. You know, you know this team. They're 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 rivals, and you've beaten them twice this season. Was there was there anything that was, you know, kind of you needed to think about going into this duel, or or were you just gonna let the girls you know, wind them up and let them go? Yeah, um, you know, honestly, after we wrestled Tullahoma, I went out to my truck for two and a half hours and watched all the first two duels, and it's kind of like. We know who they are, we know who we are, we know our expectations. Go do what we know how to do. And so like all the game planning and stuff, I kind of was just like, we know who we're gonna send out at what weight, and we're gonna go wrestle and see what happens. And uh, you know, it worked out for us today. <laughs> yeah, so was there any surprises in, in kind of how it played out? What, was there a, a starting weight that you wanted to start at? Uh, anything like that? No, once, uh, once I saw their weigh-in sheet, you know, they dropped their 14 to seven, uh -huh. they dropped their 20 to 14, and I knew that was going to kind of pick up some points on us. Um, we had our state champ come back, and she was at 235, and she actually ended up getting pinned there. So when that happened, I think that was probably the biggest. The girls had to uh, rally around her. She's our captain, and they had to come for her once. And so that was, you know, it was touching to her because usually she's the one rallying them, and they had to pick her up. So how big is this? Duels are so different than traditional, you know, such a team environment. You can see your team just 
like really into it. You guys are always into it, but I mean, this is this has got to be special. Kind of describe that. It is, you know, and I think it's the transition from we've won the individual state three out of the past four years, but it has that individual title to it. You know, you can't bring all your girls. You pick the varsity girls and go through the region, and you get to bring a handful of them. Um, to have everyone that's been on our team for the past six months, all the 5.30 a.m. practices, you know, all the grinding, the days sitting in a gym that people that don't wrestle don't understand, for them to come together today and win a dual team championship, it kind of, it's different than any of the individual championships, having them all here. You know, it's pretty awesome. Very cool. Congratulations, Coach. Appreciate it. All right, Coach, just one big over Greenville. You know, nobody believed in us, but these guys bought in. You know, they believed in themselves when nobody else would. Since day one, they knew they could do it. They delivered, shocked the world. Yeah, you guys, uh, you got up big. We you did. kept the roll, kept it going. Momentum, key. Yeah. Key. How uh, how big was that 106 pound match? Huge. I, I love that people were saying that JoJo is going to get teched, and for him to come in, give up the opening takedown, kept his composure. I mean, just wrestled a heck of a match. So, so proud of him. So what does this mean to, to this program and, and to you? I mean, it's your, I, it, it's your first you know, year at Signal Mountain. I told and you're, the guys. You said that high. I told the guys. I said there's always something to be said for being the first one to do something. And I told them before the match, I said, this will be a night you'll remember for the rest of your life. You're going to win a state championship. And they did. You know, I, it's, I think, a sign of what's to come. I mean, we... We're just getting to the top of the mountain. I feel like we're just gonna keep going. Congratulations, Coach. Thank you so much. All right, man. All right. Coach, congratulations on uh, state title. Appreciate it. Um, how do you feel right now after that duel? Excited. Yeah? Yep. Proud for them boys, man. They've yeah. Done a great job. How uh anything about the duel go like was surprising or anything like that? You know, uh, you know, I don't think so. I think we knew what we had coming down the pipe. We went down early. Heck, I think it was 24-6 we were yeah. down. But we knew what we had coming out of the, out of the gate there. And uh, we were excited for it. And just stuck to our guns and knew what we were good at and then did that. So Yeah, well, you got you got your, like, five hammers sure. in, yeah. in, in the lineup. Yeah. And then it's and then it's the other kids, you know, yeah. that, that really had yeah. to step up. Sure. What was the message to them, you know, like, it, you know, you know, not no bonus points. Right. You know, and 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 fight fight your ass off. Yeah. Basically, man, we preach compete. That's our motto, and that's what we live by. We compete in all aspects of our training, and when we come out here, and then they know what to expect. We're constantly competing. You know, we're going to wrestle to win. We're going to wrestle score points, and then we're just going to compete. Bottom line, that's what's expected. These guys have done a great job of that. So, real quick, uh, before I let you go, yeah. talk a little bit about your seniors because that's a special group it that is. are getting ready to leave. And yeah. And they get an opportunity to win yeah. a state title. Talk, sure. talk a little bit about I'd be that. at 45. You know, I've, I've had it. You know, he's been around since he was in eighth grade, man. He was one of the first kids in Tennessee that I've coached. He's to see him cap this off as a team and do this. It's exciting for him. Then you, you got Roller at 32, same boat. Right. He's been in the game for a long time. Been with me a long time, and he's done an amazing job as well. And same with Delon. And so it's it's you know it's something we've all talked about since the conception of Lake Way because we're a young program. Right. And it's something that we've talked about when we started. And I said, hey, fellas, you know, this is going to be here for us. This is something we can attain. When it was just four or five guys in the room, right? right. And you didn't have all the guys in the room. And so for it to come to fruition and then, then keep their heads down and, and, you know, be the trendsetters, be the path cutters for those boys behind them. Yeah. You know, it's a legacy that they're going to leave behind and they it's well-deserved, so. Very cool. Yeah. Coach, hey, Coach, congratulations. Thank you. Another state title. Yeah. Um, anything surprising about the duel with Father Ryan? No, I wasn't surprised. I knew that when we beat them uh, a couple weeks ago, they were missing four starters. Yeah. And I and we won every close match. And so I told the boys after that one that that was basically a scrimmage. And we were going to have to do everything, everything in our power to beat a, a completely different team today. Yeah. And I think they showed it. Father Ryan is, is a very good team. Yeah. Uh, and we, we just we had, we had some big wins and some close matches again today. And we got more bonus points. And I think... You know, we were able to pull it out, but I, I wasn't surprised by how tough they wrestled. I, I knew Father Ryan was pretty yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, so you guys now pivot to the tra traditional, the individual. Yeah. Um, mindset change in the room, or same mindset still the same? No, same mindset. Yeah. 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 So right at it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Talk a little bit about your. You're, you're losing a great group of seniors. We are. You know, um, what have they done for your program over the last? 
four years. Of well, I, I, I don't think the program could thank this class of seniors enough. I mean, they've they Baylor wrestling has been good for a really long time. Yeah, they have. Um, but before this class of, of seniors came in as a freshman, we were on a little bit of a drought. And now, uh, we hadn't won an individual or the traditional state title since 2011. And they won it when they were a freshman with a great group of seniors like Mason Rennish and Andrew Pace and right. Connor Duffy and all kinds of other kids that were already in the program. But they anchored that, that team as freshmen, really, and then uh, and just kept it rolling. And we, they've been able, we've been able to go out on the road to go more national tournaments right. and, and do well with this group of kids because of how hard they've worked and how talented they are. And I think they've all developed and they, they've, they've had a, a great career. And yeah. we got two weeks left, three weeks if you count national preps. But right. yeah, they've, uh, you know, I think they've, they've helped take Baylor from a good and regional now, team, a, a good team in the Southeast, the to, to maybe a, a pretty good household name in the country. Yeah. Well, congratulations, Coach. I appreciate it.